Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Celtic. Three things are in video and first competitive game of the new season under Ange Postcoglu and the new captain, um, of course, Carl McGregor. Now, things have got off to a decent start of the game. We were struggling, really, to be honest, in the first couple of games. Uh, the first um, Going into this game, sorry, before getting it, guys, I said, just come and let you share the video as per usual. Um, before I end of the game, guys, I was I was going in the podcast yesterday. I wasn't going to make a preview because I discussed the thing things I wanted to say in the preview anyway. Loose. Um, I was nervous going. My worries were up high. I thought Mitchell they're going to batter us. But first opening games, some of the, the good moments of the game spells. First opening minutes were really good. To be honest, I felt we created chances. Christy made his two sitters, and I felt Leo Bad on his debut was absolutely excellent. I'll talk about his goal in a minute. Christie, on the other hand, he was great as well. He was great tonight as well. Edward, I feel, was good as well. Um, could have put us two not up, and then he, 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 he gone for basically accuracy, and he could have gone for power, or you know, he could have chipped the keeper basically. But Beaton did um, get an injury, and then obviously the, the Mitchell player got an injury. But then Leo Labada on his Celtic debut, I couldn't, I couldn't believe it myself. It was great. It was absolutely great. Um, and then five minutes later, and that. Near Beaton gets sent off. It was a clear dive by the Michelin player. There was no doubt about that at all. The second where in beating Beaton does not need to go back and have an argument with. Okay, the Michelin player might have said something, but just put it over the shoulder, right? You expect to, you know, you, you just pull over, you know, just right. Because you're ordering a yellow card. What is the point? You give the referee the decision, and the, that, that's what the commentator said. You give the referee the decision when you do that, right in the face. You just we, you know, finger right in the face, talking, talking, talking. You give the, the referee a decision, and the referee makes fair, fair judgment. Red card, second yellow. Um, near beat on though. Now I'm going to talk about. He should never put that jersey on again. That's like not the first time he's done that again. Like we all know it. Celtic should do what Celtic should do. This guy is a, an absolute clown. Sometimes he is. Um. So yeah, Bar uh, Bain get uh, Beaton gets sent off, Leo Bada's goal, of course, it was excellent, a lovely finished rebound shot. And then um it was also ridiculous shoot Beaton. Both bookings were so daft to be honest, they shouldn't you know, wasn't it what a way to kill him in the first half, yeah. Um second half, the player, Michelin player gets a second yell, he deserves it all day long. Simulation again, Welsh knows he's simulated. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> he knows he's simulated, you know. It's a second yellow card for me. And he was the wind up for a Michelin that, uh, in the game tonight. And I felt he was going to get a second yellow, and he did deservedly. Um, then we, that Michelin got a free kick. Now, this is around 70, 75 minutes into the game, 15 minutes left. Celtic, can they hold on? No. Barkas never convinced me that he's going to be number one keeper. Yes, he did make, and I'd speak this in the podcast, he did make saves in the weekend against Preston. But. You know, I thought that would give him confidence, and I agreed with Chris Sutton saying that would maybe bring him confidence going into this game. Other hand, no, he did not. And after that moment, when he is a horrific moment by Beto, uh, Barca, sorry, um, the, the defence line just looked very shaky, and we could have won. We could have lost two one end of the night. Some of the moments were very shaky, but the man who had standout moment, he didn't get man in the match, but McGregor did deserve the game. But if going by defence wise, Cal McGregor, uh, Stephen Welsh, sorry, my God. He's only 21 to. My God, what a defender. Uh, what a defender for Celtic. Now, sorry guys about that. I uh, just tried to do something there. Celtic lost momentum. Uh, momentum when um, Mitchell scored. Uh, Barkas needs to do a lot better for me, in my opinion. And obviously, most of the Celtic fans would agree with that. The ref had a howl of the game, to be honest. Some of the fouls Celtic never got was ridiculous. Some of the fouls that they gave away, like, Celtic gave away was real pretty poor, but the referee overall had a high of the game. Um, it was never a, it was a stupid free kick to go away, in my opinion. Um, but Sorrow, my God, what a player again. He, he stood up for me again. Maybe in the pressing game I was a bit too harsh, saying Sorrow never played and I was a bit harsh on defenders, but we were horrific, we were very bad that game against pressing. But when Sorrow, when Sorrow plays in that midfield and then comes back into the defence, he's great, absolutely great. Um, Celtic were unlucky not to score again. It was McGregor hit the bar. It was a great run from Christie. Roger just couldn't find the corner of the goal though. Straight to the keeper, right down the keeper's throat. But Christie overall had a really good night. Um, Murray, 
he had been great in pre-season, he showed, he showed him, he showed tonight he was great as well, an 18 year old coming in, he, all Ange Postco wanted to do for him since Beaton went off, just be a defender you know, and he did that really well with Stephen Wilson, it was really good, he really impressed me tonight. Um, if Barkas had, if, if Barca had arms we would have, we wouldn't have lost. <laughs> But end one, if 1-1, one, one, great first half performance to be honest, um, looked like the better team in my opinion, Celtic should have gone, get, ended the first leg in my opinion, at least three, and maybe at least two, you know, two, no, if Barca saved it. But positive signs though, um, 9,000 fans were saying, I think the 9,000 fans really helped Celtic, um, especially when they scored, the atmosphere was great, um, you know, none surprisingly, Michelin by then, and in the early second half before Andreas Dreyer received a second yell for diving in 56 minutes in, it was a clear dive. Um, so the tie does remain, um, poised for the second leg encounter in Denmark next Wednesday. Uh, but also congratulations to 18 year old, as I said, Dane Murray for making his debut on scorer Leo Bada along with Stephen Welsh, who was a phenomenal player tonight, absolutely phenomenal. Uh, but a red card and poor goalkeeping mistake really messed us up tonight, I really feel. Um, but the first 60 minutes are the best I've seen Celtic play over a year, to be honest. Like, yeah, I'm not going to lie, it was the far best, you know, but there was plenty of positives to take from that. Um, we still have two new signings to come in, uh, to come and more to be made. Definitely feel better about the season now, I do, um, compared to, you know, the other day there. Um, you know, we look, we look promising at points, to be honest, you know, a few more signings could make that really, you know, make that great team. But focusing on the present, I believe that the quality and the confidence to go and to beat Michelin, and we have to beat the confidence um, to go and beat Michelin next week, but and put a great challenge in the ground after. But we really need to stay composed, especially in your boot on. There's no need for that in your boot on at all, and it, it, it sums up his basically Celtic career where he does it a lot, and it's not just this this, the, this game tonight he done it. Um, so yeah, but yeah. New season, somebody made it there, just new season, new iPad for Gavin Stratton, but Leo Abada, he was a standout player right, for Celtic, and I felt sorry when he had to come off, because obviously we went down to 10 minutes, but obviously stupidity from Beaton. But guys, that is my, basically I've discussed, not such three things we learned, but I've discussed what I thought we would learn from today's game, as such the first leg of the Champions League qualifier, round two against Michelin. You know, I didn't expect that at all, and that's the title of it, I didn't expect it, I didn't expect that. Um, it was a great performance from Celtic overall. I thought Barkas and Beaton absolute. You know what were they thinking? I mean, especially Barkas. I mean, I mean Beaton as well. Reckless uh, from Beaton. But anyway, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed the video. If you had, subscribe and like as per usual. Decent views and subscribers have been great over the past week and stuff. If you have, as I said, share the video as usual. I'll see you guys very shortly in our video.